<sighs> okay, so now out of the many things that have been brought to my attention. Oh, that sun is great. So out of the many things that have been brought to my attention, all right, one of the things that I actually enjoy talking about, um, one I talk about, the other one I get a little annoyed, you know, because it's like, you, I, it's like, hello, do your own reflections, reflect, you know, dive deep within and learn yourselves. But anyways, human levitation. human levitation and people wonder whether human levitation is actually real whether it's true whether it can actually happen for the gamers who read certain games and the anime people who read certain anime and people who also combine all of that with the knowledge that our ancestors have passed down have passed down to us we start to realize certain things and we start to get pointed like in other words life starts to point us towards the directions of what routes we can take to achieve certain feats like levitation and one of those routes has a lot to deal with electricity Nikola Tesla always said think in terms of energy frequencies and vibrations okay now if you really consider your own self your hair your body your own entire being it's electrical this is confirmed by dr sebi who has also mentioned that certain foods we eat are electrical roots lots of roots rooted foods are also electrical as well when we ground and when we walk barefoot we are grounding the electricity in our body as well so electricity does have a lot to deal with it now it may have also it may also have something to do with static electricity so what I am encouraging everyone to do is that whatever knowledge you have that is in regards that is in regards to human levitation all right things you have learned that love has given to you all right because see love is also highly intelligent love creates and love is what guides us on the path of infinite abundance and of course on that road of infinite abundance you can sure bet your ass that levitation is there now what's it gonna take it's gonna take people coming together sharing their thoughts sharing the knowledge that they have about certain energies what they've learned and then coming up with prototypes it may be prototypes in the sense of maybe it's a device I'm not gonna raise my voice. It may be prototypes in the sense of a device, okay, that allows one to become more sensitive to the electricity within oneself, okay. It may be prototypes such as if those who have played Warframes, they remember the Orokin maps, the Orokin derelict. You also, if those who have seen um, Magic the Gathering, you also recall the City of Brass in uh, ancient Celtic lore. We have Asgard, City of Gold, and gold is also a conductor. And we ourselves are a conduit for this con for this <laughs> conductive energy called electricity known as electricity it's also magnetic so whatever knowledge you guys have come together okay who knows maybe it could be as simple as building a highly sensitive static electrical floor and getting people used to 
stepping on that floor so they can levitate. <laughs> but of course we want to be able to, we want to, if we're going to bring about this ability, we want to be able to do, have this ability anywhere, you know, not confine it to only a specific thing because the universe is not confinable, is non-confinable, is non-limiting, okay? It may work one way, but it can also work another way. Namaste.